Hi, I'm Jean and welcome to Light Up Within. So this video is focused on the Facebook Live that we did around depression and how these physical postures can really help you manage that space more effectively. So when looking at depression from a Western and Eastern perspective, when we looked at depression very much from the Western and the uh, medical model, depression is a whole body, a whole body illness, and it really takes over an individual on a mental, emotional, and physical level. So, in order to really work with depression, a whole body approach is needed, and that is where the eastern perspective can be so helpful specifically with dealing on the physical side and what's really interesting is that when we look at depression the back is one of the biggest areas that it usually shows up in and why is that because when we look at the back the back is where we store a lot of our unconscious and emotional hang-ups okay when you look at depression the picture that comes up isn't really a picture of confidence and assertiveness. The picture that really shows up is a picture of maybe moving forward, sh um, your shoulders are moving forward as well, and there's really that space of challenge within the back area, and also moving into closing up everything in front. Now, when we look at depression from the, the physiological perspective, the first thing to consider is that we want to be able to work with the back. Okay, so when we do, um, when we work with yoga and the science of yoga, we're looking at doing a lot of back bends to help the individual open up their chest because we want to be able to open up our heart. Now you'll notice when we were doing the anxiety postures, we were doing a lot of forward folding. Why? Because that was closing up our chest area so that we are forced to breathe deeper. Now when we are working with depression, we're opening up our chest and you, you'll notice when we do a lot of back bends, it's not, you don't want to breathe deeper, you actually want to breathe a lot quicker. And why is that? Because depression is a very low tired lethargic energy so we need to pump it up we need to build the fire within our solar plexus where our fire is very much originated from and we need to be able to utilize our solar plexus our heart to open ourselves up to be able to also breathe a lot quicker so that we counterbalance that lethargy which is depression okay so here are a variety of post postures that you can start utilizing when looking at depression. And these are really simple, um, simple processes. Okay, so the first one we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at the easy cobra. So this is very much, and I'll demonstrate, okay, as promised. So, okay, we're getting a wide frame. Okay, so... Now, when we're looking at the Easy Cobra, we want to keep our legs together. Our toes are going to be together as well. The reason being is because we want to create a, a mudra, which is a lock. So we want to keep our energy in ourselves, not let it go at the end of our feet. We now make sure our elbows are underneath our shoulders. Our fingers are spread out in front of us. And we are literally not making sure that our neck is cranked but rather that the neck and the spine is an extension, okay? And your hands are spread out. And this is really starting to, and make sure that you're not slunching forward. Your elbows are being pulled back. This is a very great, this is a great stretch for the lower back. And you'll notice it doesn't take a lot and you just allow yourself to close your eyes in this posture and breathe through your nose, all nasal breathing, no breathing through the mouth, okay? And just allow yourself to enjoy that posture. Notice your potential habits of bringing your, your um, shoulders to, to your ears. Make sure you really keep that posture. And this simple posture can create such a change. And you'll notice that it's challenging with your lower back, with opening up your chest as well. Really creating that sphinx kind of persona, that, um, that godliness. 
Okay, and now a great, uh, now from here, another asana that you can do, okay, an extension of this. So this is Saral Bhujangasana, the easy cobra. Now if you want to come into the full Bhujangasana, the full cobra, you bring your arms, your hands underneath your shoulders, okay, you, you keep your toes together to create that lock of energy and you are making sure that you are nice and relaxed. You breathe in through your nose and use your breath to help you extending your, imagine there is a golden thread extending your tips of your toes and your head. So you're stretching outwards and upwards. So take a look, breathe in. Okay, making sure your neck isn't cranked. Okay, and just allowing yourself to come into that posture. You can come further up. This is a very deep stretch on your, on your lower back. Okay. And you can come down. Elongating yourself as you come down. And you can just rest with your hands on your, your, your head on top of your two hands. Okay, and that's a great resting asana. And you can just move your, your buttocks from left to right and just help to move that, any, any toxic um, acid that's been stored in those areas. Now, from here, a really great um, posture is Makara Sana, which is known as the crocodile. Now, this is really awesome to do with your children as well. And this is something that you can do every single day when you're watching TV, for example. So what you do is you literally bring your um, elbows just in front of you and you allow your hand, your head to rest in your hands. And this is, and you allow your shoulders to relax and you allow yourself to watch TV. You're keeping your toes together, you're creating that lock and you're allowing yourself to just rest in the crocodile. Now this is an excellent posture because you'll also notice that it also helps create a connection with your breath. Allow yourself to observe your breathing. You'll notice the solar plexus when you are like this. Breathe into your solar plexus, breathing out. It definitely creates a bigger connection there for you. Okay, so we've moved through the easy cobra, the cobra as well as the crocodile. All right, now another asana that I really want to focus on is um, the snake for today. Okay, the snake is um now these are all a lot of lower back areas okay the snake for example is you will bring your chin to the floor and you interlacing your hands behind you okay now you're keeping your toes together the same starting posture your legs are together your toes are together as you breathe in you're going to stretch yourself out first you're going to elongate yourself with that golden thread and then you're going to come up so i'll demonstrate breathe in okay making sure this is really extending on your lower back and see if you can allow yourself make sure your shoulders are not cranked you're using your arms to help pull you up and specifically in this posture you're going to breathe a lot quicker. And what are we focusing on this, in this posture? We're focusing on opening up our chest. Okay. So when looking at those postures, specifically with Sarpasana, which is a snake, it was very much a space of opening up your chest okay really stretching yourself back especially now because we're working a lot probably sitting a lot more um working a lot on the computer allowing yourself to stretch out your back bring your chest and exposing your chest has a huge impact specifically with working with depression okay and um so that is very much lower back areas now the final posture that I want to work with you today is the lizard. Okay. Um, um, Uttam Plistasana. Okay. The lizard is incredible and it specifically opens up a lot of your, your shoulder blade area and your upper back specifically. It also works on the lower back, but works a lot on your upper back as well. This is a more of a dynamic posture, which is fantastic. If you are feeling very sluggish, 
very low in energy coming into the lizard and continuously working through this can be extremely helpful okay now let me demonstrate the same way applies right you now how you work with this is you make sure your feet are together all right and your hands now are holding onto your your um, elbow shoulders okay so it's really linking up like this now we breathe in always nasal breathing through our nose and we come up and we allow ourselves to come and bring our chest on the floor rest in this position breathe out because you see that so when you breathe in you bring your chest to the floor you're opening your chest as well as your lower back check it out breathing in bringing your legs up bringing your chest to the floor bringing your chin to the floor you're really stretching out your shoulder your your shoulders and your upper back breathing out okay and that's fantastic to do a few of those so allow yourself to really work on doing do 10 rounds of those and move and move through it dynamically specifically when you're in a sluggish lethargic space because we want to create that counterbalance if you are low in energy you want to create more stimulation if you are high in energy you want to create more balance and you want to slow down okay now what i would also recommend after doing these postures go into a forward fold okay it's really important to balance the forward bending and the back bending to give yourself again that space of balance um, with the whole of your body you don't just want to focus always on your back you want to maybe do some forward folding as well so that's going to create some balance all right so the invitation is to focus on these postures to help you specifically with the physical side as well as the emotional side which is often trapped in our spine so this is really helping to wring out a lot of our tensions so please let me know how it goes and i'm here to support you if you feel that you would like a deeper session on um, posture specifically for depression or posture specifically for anxiety please let me know and we can work together to building a program that is connected to you and um, that is very individualized so with that being said thank you for joining me today and i look forward to our next facebook live all right have a great day bye